Hi, and thanks for joining us for the Elios Compliance June Summary of Regulatory Updates from Around the World. I'm Gemma and this is my colleague Sam. Um, whilst we will go over the updates in some detail here in the video, please don't hesitate to leave us a comment or get in touch via our website if there is anything you would like to clarify further. Starting off with the EMEA region, the Ivory Coast Agency for Frequency and Spectrum Management, AIGF, have issued a circular permitting the use of the 76 to 77 gigahertz band for radar equipment in Ivory Coast. As such, ACRTI, the Ivorian regulator responsible for issuing type approval certificates, will now approve equipment operating in this band for commercial use in Ivory Coast. There are some technical parameters and requirements specified for vehicle radar devices using this band, so if you're thinking of commercialising such devices in this market, please ask for the full details. Um, Saudi Arabia's uh, Communications and Information Technology Commission, or CITC, has issued a public consultation on radio spectrum allocation and use regulation for wireless LAN applications. The consultation document, linked below, proposes updates on the spectrum allocation and technical requirements for wireless LAN frequency bands, including new spectrum for Wi-Fi 6E, uh, 5.95 to 7.125 MHz, and extension of the 60 GHz band, now 57 to 71 GHz. Commenting is open for another week until the 8th of July, so if you are an interested party, then please do submit your comments as soon as possible. You can do so by emailing them to CITC, and you'll find the address for that in the links below with the video. Moving on to the Latin region now, where Mexican regulator IFTO has just closed the commenting period for a public consultation, which ran through June, soliciting comments regarding opening up the 5925-7125 MHz band as free use spectrum within Mexico. Various comments were received, including suggestions for power limits and other technical parameters. You can read the consultation document and view the comments by following the link included below the video. Um, we also have two updates from Brazil this month. Um, first, on the 8th of June, um, Anatel published Act Number 3939, which establishes the operating procedure for approval of telecommunications products by declaration of conformity with test reports. Uh, please refer to the official publication of Act Number 3939 linked below. The Act specifies that the declaration of conformity with test report model will be used for products intended for unique, special or low market applications and handcrafted or imported construction products for the applicant's own use. For more details on the products covered by the Declaration of Conformity with Test Report Scheme, please refer to the reference list of products for Telecommunications Act number 7280, also linked below. And also, Anatel has opened public consultation number 27, which runs from the 7th of June through to the 5th of August 2021. It aims to update the testing procedures for assessing conformity of restricted radiation radio communication equipment approved by Act number 6506. The proposed changes intend to include testing procedures for the following. Wireless broadband access systems operating in 5925 to 7125 MHz, level detection of meter sense in 76 to 81 GHz band, intelligent transportation systems in 5850 to 5925 MHz, systems operating in the 5764 GHz band and multi-gigabit system in the 5771 GHz band, ATPC for point-to-point and multi-point systems in outdoor environments and fixed applications in the 5766 GHz band, media access sharing systems operating in the 5 GHz band. The public consultation will be found via the link below. The Costa Rican Telecoms Regulator, SUTAL, has announced a further extension of the suspension of applicant registration requirements. Uh, the registration requirement was first announced via RCS 358 2018 and came into effect in December 2018. All applicants for homologation of um, uh, wireless WAN devices had to be registered and the associated documentation had to be presented in person at the SUTAL offices. In an effort to follow the recommendations of, and guidelines of the World Health Organization and Costa Rica's Ministry of Health, the requirement was suspended for a six-month period via RCS 311 2020 on the 4th of December 2020. That suspension has been extended for a further year by way of resolution RCS 118 2021 linked below. Panamanian regulator ASAP has opened a public consultation in order to receive comments and feedback regarding a potential change to the procedure for homologation wireless devices. That was adopted via Resolution 8105 in November 2014. The proposed change seeks to streamline the initial technical valuation of applications and reduce the number of rejected applications 
by way of requirement that applications only be submitted with the support of a technical representative who must be a qualified wireless telecommunications or radio communications engineer. Links to the announcement and the full consultation document can be found below. Comments can be, made, can be submitted in person or sent via email to ASAP until 4pm on 5th of July. Finally in Peru, band 470 to 698 MHz along with 5924 to 7125 MHz have been confirmed as available for unlicensed use by Peruvian regulator MTC in resolution 488 this year. Link to uh, below, they confirm that the 470 to 698 MHz band is being made available for unlicensed usage as long as the technical parameters of use are the same as those previously granted for TV broadcast in that band. The technical parameters for unlicensed use of the 6 GHz band are still to be announced, but we know that this band will be designated for indoor use only. That's it from Elios for this month. As always, please do like, subscribe and share the video. We'll be back with more updates at the end of July.